Good morning, children. So far, we have seen about the thunderstorm and cyclones, and now we are going to see about what are the destruction caused caused by cyclones. Okay, uh, cyclones can be very destructive. Strong winds push water towards the shore, even if the storm is hundreds of kilometers away. Okay, have you seen in in this coastal area we have came across so many cyclones and storms. Okay, storms and cyclones are nothing but strong wind, very strong wind, which pushes. which push they, these are the first indications of an approaching of cyclone okay the strong wind push water towards the shore okay the water waves produced by the wind are so powerful that a person cannot overcome them the low pressure in the eye lifts water surface in the center the rising water may be as high as 12 to 3 to 12 meters okay the water level in the ocean will will go to a height up to 3 feet to 12 feet it appears like a water wall moving towards the shore as a result the sea water enters to the low lying low lying coastal areas causing severe loss of life and prosper property it also reduces the fertility of the soil okay the sea water extremely they will come inside the low lying coastal areas because of the high power wind which is caused in the ocean and it will cause so many so much of destruction uh, among the lives and the properties of our people continuous heavy rainfall may further worsen the flood situation high speeds of wind accompanying a cyclone can damage house telephones and other communication systems trees etc causing tremendous loss of life and property a like cyclone is known by different names in different parts of her. it is called as a hurricane in the american continent a cyclone is otherwise called as a hurricane in the american continent in philippines and japan it is called as typhoon okay the cyclones and thunderstorms are named in different ways in different countries it is called as hurricane in america and typhoon in japan see here this is the way which cyclone is caused the diameter of a toronto can be as small as as a meter and it is large as a kilometer or even wider the funnel of a toronto sucks dust debris and everything near it at the base and throws them out near the top here a few accounts of the survivors of toronto from discovery channel the young series okay toronto toronto is like a, uh, see i can see give you the picture of a toronto see it's the toronto image of toronto see it's 1 meter only width and it will expand up to kilometers okay it's go up to kilometers the toronto shelter is a room situated deep inside the underground having no windows or otherwise it is better to shut windows and take shelter under the table work bench we have to be in a safer place while the toronto is on in your city where debris cannot reach one has to bow down the knees protecting head and neck using the arms okay all the things around the uh, area will be go will go into the tunnel funnel of the mouth of the toronto um, and it will be blow off it will after the toronto it will blow get blow off while blowing off we should keep our head and our neck safe because it will cut our body okay tornadoes in our country there are not very frequent a tornado is a dark funnel shaped cloud that reaches from the side to the ground most of the tornadoes are weak a violent tornado can travel at speed of about 300 km most of the tornadoes are very weak and some are very powerful it will travel even 300 km per hour tornadoes may form within cyclones the whole coastline of the india is vulnerable to cyclones particularly the east coast the west coast of india is less vulnerable to cyclonic storms both in terms of intensity and the frequency of cyclones effective safety measures how should be we be safe from this uh, cyclone thunderstorm tornadoes etc the cyclone forecast and warning services we have to um, be aware of the cyclone when they are uh, giving warning rapid communication of warnings through the construction of cyclone rapid communication of warnings to the government agencies the ports fishermen ships and to the general public the general public fishermen police force should be uh, indicated and they should stay safely uh, during the cyclone time and uh, construction of cyclone shelters in the cyclone prone areas and administrative arrangements for the moving people to fast to safer places okay the the rescued people should uh, have a proper place to stay in 
action on the part of the people. We should not ignore the warnings issued by the meteorological department through TV, radio, or newspaper. We should make necessary arrangement to shift the essential household rules, domestic animals and vehicles, etc., to a safer place. And we should avoid driving on roads through standing water as floods may have damaged roads. And keep ready the phone numbers of all emergency services like police, fire brigade, and medical centers because uh, they are very important. You have to keep everything in a prepared manner. Some other precautions if you are staying in a cyclone heat area, do not drink water that could be con contaminated, always store drinking water for emergencies. Do not touch wet switches and fallen power lines. Do not go out just for sake of fun. Do not pressurize the rescue force by making undue demands. Corporate and help, corporate and help your neighbors and friends. Okay, so these are the things. These are the precautionary measures we should have while we are under a situation of severe cyclone or storm. Advanced technology has helped. These days, we are better protected in early part of the last century. Coastal residents have have less than a day to prepare and evacuate the homes for an oncoming cyclone. The world today is very different thanks to satellites and radars. The cyclone alert or cyclone watch is issued in 48 hours of in advance of any expected storm or cyclone warning. Before 48 hours that a cyclone is going to come, we are being warned because of this uh, advanced technology. The message is broadcast every hour and half an hour when a cyclone is near us across. Several national and international organizations cooperate to monitor the electricity cyclone related disasters okay so far we have seen the anim anemometer cyclone hurricane lightning low pressure monsoon winds pressure thunderstorms tornado typhoon wind flow pattern so uh, we have learned air around us excess pressure air expands on heating and contracts on cooling warm air rises up whereas comparatively cooler air tends to sink towards earth's surface as warm air rises the air pressure that at that place is reduced and the cooler air moves to that place the moving air is called wind uneven heating on the earth is main cause of the wind movement winds carrying water vapor bring rain high speeds winds air pressure different cause cyclones it has become easier to monitor cyclones with the help of advanced technology like satellites and radars self-help is the best help therefore it is better to plan in advance and be ready with defense against any approaching cyclone the following flowchart will help you to understand the phenomena that leads to the formation of clouds and falling of rain and creation of storms and cyclones okay so far we have seen these things and different temperature between two regions sets convection in air warm air rises creating a low pressure area cool air converges to the low pressure area warm air rises cools and the water vapor condenses to form clouds the bigger water droplets in the cloud fall into ground as rain hail or snow falling water droplets and rising air moves vigorously to produce thunderstorm under certain weather conditions storms may develop into the cyclones so, so this is a vast lesson and we have completed this lesson Okay, so far we have learned about thunderstorms, cyclones, storm, etc., and what are the precautionary measures to avoid from and be, to be safe from thunderstorms, cyclones. Okay, thank you, children.